the Air Force is coming under renewed criticism for its handling of remains of some fallen troops. The service says body parts of troops have been lost on two occasions at its mortuary in Dover, Delaware. Cremated portions of some remains were sent to a landfill. They've been very slow to face up to the problem. New Jersey Congressman Rush Holt says the Air Force has been stonewalling families and officials trying to get information on practices at the mortuary. The Air Force now acknowledges small amounts of remains from 274 fallen service members were transported to a Virginia landfill. That happened after families said goodbye to their loved ones and told officials they did not want to be informed if additional remains were identified. They're wondering now, by the thousands, I imagine, are wondering, well, what about my son? What about my brother? Are, are there things that the department hasn't told us? I don't think there is another federal agency in this town. I don't think there's another institution in the country that doesn't understand more than we do about how to properly treat the remains of our fallen troops. The Air Force defended itself Thursday, saying the practice was carried out by a contractor and ended in 2008. We were prepared to apologize. It causes us great pain to think that we have brought suffering to a family. At least one veterans group accused officials of trying to spin the facts. Under current rules, if additional remains are found, they are retired at sea. Sagar Magani, Associated Press, the Pentagon.